making it look effortless and making the person feel great and look great with, you know, multiple cameras on you and like kind of, not the pressure, but the pressure. Like we're making a TV show. <laughs> We have an incredible team of producers, but we are so, so hands-on. What you don't see on the show is a week or two, usually two weeks before the, we start shooting the episode, we're in something called pre-production. We do sit around a table and we discuss the candidate that we're going to be dealing with, our new hero. People often get intimidated when they don't know about something. When you personalize it and you actually have them engage, people can learn. For me to know where I'm going into, know the space that I'm gonna take that person into, and that takes a certain amount of research. We're scouting for the loft location, pre-scouting all of our heroes' homes. And we are so involved in each of this business, which may seem like a lot, but it really does work. I need this to match this. It's gonna match. I'm missing out a lot on kind of life. What is causing this person to stop trying to be better with their hair, with their home, with their diet, with their fashion? There's a reason behind that. For real sustainable growth, you have to understand that reason. If you get to know somebody, that reason is always there. You just have to find out what it is sometimes. Our producers are really great about working with us to get everything pre-planned as much as we possibly can. But then the biggest wild card is the hero. I'm not seeing a whole lot of you upstairs. Yeah, I'll do it. Maybe one of the reasons why you're down here a lot is because there is no you up there. I want to redo your upstairs. They do a majority of it by themselves. But I worked as a social worker for many years before getting into television. And for me, it's always determining if the relationship that they need to work on is with themselves or with someone in their lives. You don't meet our heroes before the cameras start rolling. That conversation happens live. Consultation is so much of a part of creating a look. It's not gonna be like you're walking out of here with a clean face. So are we down with that? Yeah. And that means like a lot of moments that are like off camera where I'm trying to earn our heroes trust. I'm really here trying to get them to feel fly and look gorgeous. Within our two verticals, everybody has an opinion on fashion and grooming, everyone. So I think that we've really stepped into our comfort, into our power this year. You are not nice to yourself, you are not kind to yourself, and we're not gonna stand for it. There's a lot of things that look a certain way on paper, but then it can mean something completely different. And it can throw a huge wrench in a good way though, Oh my God. Because we're really truly then able to help them in a way that's really going to change their lives. They took all of his shirts and they were in my closet. Are you serious? Yeah. Especially when you're dealing with emotional and mental growth, it's a very fragile thing. I really do believe that feeling beautiful, it has to start on your inside. They're spending a week with perfect strangers where they're opening up about parts of their lives that they've never shared with anybody. It's a tremendous responsibility, but at the same time, we get to kind of be like these messengers of love and kindness. Just humbled and grateful that we get to be part of that experience. That's why it's so emotional, because we've made it so perfectly bespoke for them.